Hey guys, welcome to a new by design. I'm going to be doing a quick video tutorial here on the Kingpin fight. Uh, once you actually know what to do in this fight, it's actually a pretty easy fight. I like to start the fight by kind of running away to the side. And that's basically what I did right there is the full way to win this entire fight. Um, and what that was is you wait until he does the double foot stomp, which means he's going to charge. You hold the triangle button and hit a directional button to whichever direction you want to go. When he runs into the wall, that's when you start attacking him. And it's like typical for almost all of these fights in this game. Uh, once you stun them, you can only hit them about three to five times. You try to entice him to do another uh, charge at you, and then you do the same dodge. It's a triangle inside, and then they... Then he'll run towards you, run into the wall, and that's when you get your three or four or five attacks in. Uh, it's pretty easy to see when he's going to do it, obviously, because he takes quite a long time to do his right foot stomp out, then left foot stomp out, and then he does his charge. Um, eventually, it comes into where he spawns two armored guards, and then after that, three armored guards. So you defeat these armored guards the same as you defeated the armored guards coming up here. You shoot your iconic web at them so that their armor's gone, and once their armor's gone, then you can start attacking them there. Uh, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to target the right person with the uh, iconic uh, web, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll just get one of their armors gone, like I'm doing here right now, and then try to kill that guy. They all kind of charge at you at the same time. You don't want to be anywhere near the Kingpin when he does, because if you start taking damage from the Kingpin, he starts damaging you pretty quick. Uh, same thing with these armored guys. These are, uh, once you get their armor done, it doesn't come back. Um, but they take a lot more to kill than the regular uh, armor wearing guys. Um, and once you do kill them, you go back to your same rinse and repeat So Sometimes he shoots that beam at you, and that's kind of irritating. I find that to get him to charge sometimes, if you run away and do your seismic blast, it'll almost prompt him into an automatic charge. You can actually avoid this uh, beam by doing the uh, dodge and to the side, and sometimes Spider-Man will actually jump over it. So the best time to heal yourself is right now. You basically force him to do a charge into the wall. Instead of doing your three or four attacks, you just heal yourself. And it's good to know how to do that anyways. You can see I ended up taking one of the uh, charges here because I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. but. When you, uh, also, if you get too close to him, it'll always tell you with the uh, red spidey sense thing going off, on, or lightning bolt things going off on top of your head. So again, we're just going to do uh, the dodge. We're going to go back in for a couple attacks, just to slowly start taking away his health. Eventually here, he's going to spawn that second set of uh, armored soldiers, which is three going to be the next time, and that's when it gets a little bit more difficult. But again, this process is just kind of a rinse and repeat process. You... Just let him run into the wall, attack him a little bit, or if you find yourself a little bit low on health, you recharge yourself instead of attacking him. So we're just prompting him into another uh, run to the wall there, and we're going to do the attack this time because we are full health, and we're ready to fight the armored guys when they do spawn. So now he's uh, now we're just trying to prompt him again, like I was saying before. If you run away, do a seismic blast, it usually pro pro sorry prompts him to start doing a charge on you. Uh, so we've prompted that now. We're going to do a quick evade, and then we're going to engage him, get our attacks in, and this pops the uh, last set of armored soldiers, which, like I said, is three. One of these guys does have a gun, so you can yank the gun for him, from him, sorry, or you can just do what I did here, which is just kind of running around and trying to get all their armor first. I find it easier if you run around in circles on the outside of the uh, fight area here and try to force them to um, just kind of chase after you while you're getting their while you're uh, removing their armor with your iconic web um, you can see what I did there was run out of the way when he does his blast into the ground and because of that he knocked all of his friends off because none of them had armor still on them occasionally you'll see that you going to take damage with this uh, three person thing. It is possible to do it without, but I find in most of these guides it's better to take a little bit of damage and show you guys how if you do take damage you can still recover from it and whether it's healing or however you're going to just uh, recover from it and just try to beat it otherwise. 
Uh, so again, now we've got those soldiers done. We're going to take some damage here again. And you can see we get to the point where we're going to be almost dead. Um, and we recharge back up to full. And that's the best time to do that, is wait for that first uh, laser uh, side blast that he does there. And then heal yourself, and you'll have all kinds of time to heal yourself back up to full, which we are now. Um, again, we prompted him to do a wall charge and into the wall, and then we're going to do the damage. You can see now he's got about a quarter of his health left, and we're still trying to prompt him into that wall charge by doing our seismic blast. He's going to come at us again here, and same process as before. Again, like I said, it's kind of a rinse and repeat process. You uh, get the charge to the wall and avoid the avoid being close to him because those may, or the uh, AOE close ranges are pretty annoying. Uh, so again, he's pretty much dead here. Uh, we're going to almost prompt him into a cutscene here after this last uh, last charge here. So we're going to try again, Seismic Blast, try to encourage him to charge us, which he does again. And evade, and re-engage, and this is going to be it. Get a cool little cutscene here where you uh, knock him back into the chair. If you guys found this video useful or enjoyed it at all, please click the like button. It helps me a lot when you do, and thanks for watching.